Hey guys, how we doing here? Bringing you another video, giving you an update here on the zebra finches. So I just wanted to go through all the cages, kind of give you guys the progress on the pairs that we have, what's going on there, and hopefully what's to come in the future. So we'll start off here with our English zebra finch pair. Um, all four babies, they fledged about a little over a week ago. They'll probably, they're starting to wean. They're starting to eat on their own, um, but the parents are still feeding them as well. So probably another at least four or five days. Um, and then I'll probably try and separate them and, and see how they do. One thing to note with zebra finches, especially in a smaller cage like this, um, when the pair is ready to breed again, they can become aggressive towards their the chicks, trying to push them away, or lots of times they'll pluck the back of the feathers on the babies and use their feathers to rebuild another nest. Um, so it's important to kind of keep an eye out on your birds. Just watch them. If they start to become really aggressive, usually what I will do is I'll pull the female out and then I'll just leave the male in there with the babies and he'll finish weaning off the chicks and then as soon as they're weaned, you can introduce the female again. So that's one thing to keep an eye on. So this pair actually, they've started laying eggs again. So I'll let you look in here. So she's she's got three eggs in there. She'll probably lay five. Um, so she hasn't started to sit uh, super tight yet. Probably once that fourth egg is laid, she'll start sitting pretty tight. She'll stay in the nest box. Um, they probably will become a little bit more aggressive towards their nest box area and they won't let the babies go in the nest box. But there really hasn't been a big issue. These babies haven't really gone towards the nest box at all and they've kind of stayed away from it. As you can see, they have all their feathers on their backs. Um, mom and dad are starting to become a little bit more picky with them. I think it's just the process of trying to get them to wean. Um, so probably, like I said, another four or five days. We'll pull those chicks out and let them start eating on their own. We'll put them in a, in a separate cage. I won't put them out in the aviary yet. I just want to make sure that they're all eating on their own. They're healthy and strong. And then we'll probably throw them out in the aviary, let them molt out there and, and go from there. So, um, looks like, you know, all four chicks, they're normals. Um, so you can see there the male, he's starting to get a little bit aggressive with the chicks. Um, doesn't want them to go towards that nest box. Um, but it's not to the point where he's, he's causing any harm or damage to him. So I'm not super worried yet. If I start seeing some feathers missing, I'll definitely, uh, separate them and put the, put the chick somewhere else with the male, um, so he can finish weaning them, but not too worried yet. So just keep an eye out on that. That's something definitely to look for. Uh, if you see them becoming too aggressive, feathers are missing on the backs of the chicks that sort of thing. Those are all signs that the parents um, are, are trying to nest again and they're trying to push the babies away. So, um, but so far we're doing good here. So we'll, we'll throw the phone inside here. We'll let you guys take a look at them real quick. So you kind of see them without the bars. And all four of these babies, they have really good size. So I'm excited. They're all, very close to the size of the dad already, um, which means I, we got some really good hope for them to be even bigger than that when they molt out. So I'm really excited for that, hoping to get some really good size from these guys. Um, I know I, I definitely have one male chick. Um, he's starting to get some, some breast bars, some flanks on the side. The other three, I'm not quite sure yet, so we'll We'll just have to wait and see. So that's the English zebra. So then we have here, so the hen, she's an English zebra hen. And then the male is a normal black cheek. So I had them out in the aviary. They were starting to, to get broody and, and all sorts of stuff. And so one thing with them is so they have built their nest. We'll look inside here. You can see that they built it, but there's no eggs in there. And it's been a couple weeks. Um, she is a, a really young hen, so it could just be she's just not quite ready to lay the eggs yet. 
Um, he's not becoming aggressive with her or anything like that. He's not being too pushy. So I'm not in a hurry to, to change anything in their setup. We'll give them another two, maybe three weeks. If nothing happens, then we'll try and change some things up and, and see if we can get some better success elsewhere with, or with a different setup with these guys. But I am excited for these guys. I think both of them have really great colors, good size. Um, that male is beautiful. I uh, really like his color marking. So hopefully we'll get something with them and keep you up to date. And so one thing I did want to highlight on is, you know, if you only have one pair of birds, sometimes it can seem like an eternity before they lay eggs or before their chicks hatch or before their chicks fledge or molt out um, because it's all just around one pair. And so if you're impatient like I am, <laughs> I need multiple pairs of birds that are all in different stages and that kind of helps keep me at bay, keeps me calm and, and, and keeps me looking forward to, to something each day, you know? And so even though this pair hasn't done a whole lot yet, I'm not super uh, antsy or anxious to to change anything or to, to to try and make them breed any faster. And so that's just one thing to keep in mind. If you do have one pair, sometimes it does seem like it, it goes by a lot slower. But just have patience. If you guys have the room and the space to have multiple pairs, I would suggest do it, especially with zebra finches. They're such chill birds and, and easy to breed that it might be fun for you. And, might make it not feel like an eternity if they're if they're not breeding for you right away and so like these guys i've had them paired up probably three weeks now not getting anything out of them yet but i'm not too worried if another two to three weeks go by and nothing happens then we'll we'll kind of look at it and and see if there's something different we need to try so that's those guys so we'll go come down here to this pair got our male here he's got some really pretty markings he's gonna sing for us um, really like him. He's a great male. So they had one chick hatch in the nest. So and the chick's probably about, I don't know, six days old or so. Um, the other three eggs, so they had four eggs. Three at one point were fertile, um, but only one ended up hatching. So I'm not quite sure why, but that's okay. It's better than none. So uh, we'll, we'll see if we can uh, open up their nest box and, and see if you guys can take a peek at it here. Um, he's just eating some egg, some of the last of the egg food that I'd put in there. He's probably going to feed the chick right before lights go out. So we'll get mom out. There she goes. She's a black cheek as well. Her cheeks are pretty, uh, pretty fair. Let's see if we can see this little guy. We might have to, we might have to take him off. There we go. See if we can get it focused for you. So we got one chicken there. He's being fed nice and nice and well. He's got full crop. He's growing. So it's looking like this little guy. His feathers are looking white. So it looks like he's probably going to be a chestnut flanked white baby, which I'm okay with. Um, I think that would be really cool. We can get that. Maybe we'll get a chestnut flanked white black cheek since both of the parents show black cheeks. There's a good, a good chance that this guy will, will have those black cheeks as well. And so we'll kind of let you t take a peek in here at these guys as well. These guys are super calm. Um, which I really like. They've come to get to, got, they've gotten to know me. They know who I am. They know I'm not going to hurt them. They know I'm the guy that comes and gives them food. So they like to hang out there and just watch me. So really cool birds. Um, they're just waiting for me to put that nest back in. And they're saying, Hey, what the heck's going on? So we'll, uh, let's see if we can see if we can do this, uh, one handed here. Get our, get our hook set straight there. All right, let's see if we can, if we can do this. There we go. I want you guys to see that. And they just hook right on in there like so. We're good. Give it about two seconds and the mom's probably gonna go flying back in there. 
Mel's probably excited she's she's out. He, he hasn't seen her outside the box for much lately. But anyway, so we'll go down to the next pair. So this is the last pair of black cheek zebra finches that we have. So with these guys, it was a little tricky. I went through two different types of nest boxes. I had an open nest box and then I had the little small hole nest boxes. I had it clipped up here on the side of the cage, just like the others. And they would go in the nest box, but for some reason they wouldn't take it. And she kept laying eggs on the ground or in her food dish. So I tried a couple different nest boxes, gave them a couple weeks for each new nest box. Nothing happened. So I kind of went to my last resort and I put a wicker nest in there. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that I don't really like wicker baskets. Uh, the bird's nails can get caught in them. They can lose toes, feet, legs, even die. It's, it's definitely not a nest I would recommend, but sometimes that's your only option. That's what the birds will take, especially if you have wet wax bill finches and that sort of thing. Wicker baskets kind of have a little bit more of a natural feel, kind of a more of a seclusion. And uh, so sometimes you, that's your only option. That's what you have to use, you know, so, but anyway, so I threw the, the wicker basket in there. She took to it right away. Two days later, there was an egg in there. So she's got three eggs in there. She might've laid another one today. Uh, so possibly has four. She's started to sit really tight. I came in today and cleaned, cleaned the nests or the, all the cages out. And she stayed in that, in that nest the whole time. So she's definitely sitting. So we'll wait a week. Then we'll candle the eggs, see if they're fertile. Hopefully we'll uh, get some good results out of them. And, uh, you know, and, and then we'll be able to breed their babies with their babies, kind of get some stuff going and then slowly introduce the black cheek babies into the, the English zebra finches, hopefully get some of that size, get some black cheek English zebra finches as well. So really excited for that, excited for the outcome. Hopefully stuff's looking up, you know, I think all the zebra finches are doing really well. We just have the one pair that I'm waiting to lay eggs. But like I said earlier, I'm not in, I'm not in a huge hurry. I have three other pairs that either have chicks or are sitting on eggs right now. So I think it'll be really good for us. Really excited for the black cheeks. We'll let you guys take a peek of, peek of them. We'll open this part up right here and let you guys see them. Definitely some good looking birds. They have really dark cheek patches, almost to the point, and a lot of black on their breasts and on their flanks, almost to the point of a black breast. Uh, and so that's kind of what I'm going for. I, I like more of that dark black on there. And so I do have, I do have two extra males out here in the aviary. So I have a male uh, English zebra finch. So he'll be able to breed with these guys. And then I have just a normal orange cheek zebra finch that actually he came as a pair with one of my shaft tail finches. And so um, I don't think I'll breed him, to be honest with you, but he's he's out in the out in the pasture, so to say he's retiring. But hopefully uh, he's living a good life. I think he's outside right now. It's it's dark. Um, birds are about getting ready to to go to bed or he might be up there tucked in with all the society finches who knows but my male chestnut he's right there he's a he's a baby from my hen in the or sorry no actually he's a, a baby from my brother he has a pair of zebra english zebra finches that he sent him over and so we're Hopefully try and get the, the bloodlines going. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on breeding zebra finches, you know, types of nest boxes, nesting material, that sort of stuff, you know, let me know. Uh, I'm happy to, happy to help out. Our hen came out. We'll let you take a look at her. Um, happy to help out in any way. So if you guys have any questions or leave a comment down below, like the video, share it. You know, get this across. I know there's a lot of people that have zebra finches 
and I know they're, they are an easy bird to breed, but also you can get some pairs that are, are temperamental or aggressive or that sort of thing with the zebra finch. So, you know, I've experienced most of it with the zebra finches, and so feel free to drop some comments. I am happy to help you and, and hope that I can help you in any way. And so, hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.